Well, the Polytechnic Teachers Association of Ghana, POTEC, has called on government to pay the 2014-2015 academic year's book and research allowance as listed in the association's conditions of service. According to POTEC, delaying the payment of the allowance is mounting tension on the various polytechnic campuses. The group notes uh, payment of the allowances would prevent last academic year's experiences. So two things to note here. Tension mounting on the various polytechnic campuses, and they're bringing back the experiences of last year into this conversation as well. The association has meanwhile also called on the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission to reopen negotiations on the conditions of service to pave way for mutual deliberations on the fate of POTAC. So this morning, we're going to break down the issues. I've got the vice chairman of the Accra Polytechnic branch of POTAC, Daniel Osabote, joining me uh, for a conversation. Good morning to you, and thank you for your time. Good morning, my sister. Yeah. OK, so book and research allowance is back. I thought it was gone, and you had agreed, and you know something else had come to replace it. Sorry, it is not gone. Um, if you could recall, last year, um, we had an impasse where we were on strike for over three months and um, there was an MOU which stated clearly that um, we should, I mean Fair Wages and Salaries Commission should engage us to negotiate on our conditions of service, um, taking into uh, consideration government's intention to scrap the uh, book and research allowance and to introduce a uh, national research fund. Uh, also considering our single spine uh, salary structure. Um, so far we've had two meetings with um, fair wages. The last, I mean the last one was in January 20, um, 2015, 28th January. And uh, my sister, all attempts to get back to fair wages to continue with the negotiations as full footer. So we believe that it is about time we alert government that so far as POTAG is concerned, we have done our legitimate work. We have discharged our duties for the year 2014-2015 academic year. And therefore, we are due for any research and book allowance that is for POTAG. Okay. So at the very last meeting, what was agreed? I mean, was, it, was the discussion to be continued? Yes, the discussion is supposed to be continued. In fact, we didn't sign any MOU in the last meeting. Mm. That is uh, 28th of January. So essentially, you, you, you had not agreed on anything? Nothing was agreed upon. What we did was just to um, come up with rules of engagement, right? And so far, we have not had any formal meeting after the rules of engagement. When were you supposed to when were you supposed to meet again? After the twenty eighth January meeting, we were told that to be informed as to when we should come back for the negotiations. Mm. And my sister, all attempts to get fair wages to engage us, as I told you. W was this future. was this engagement between Potak and the fair wages? Exactly. I mean the teachers and fair and fair that wages. That is Potak and fair wages because mm. the MOU categorically stated that fair wages should engage POTAC, right, to negotiate for conditions of service or negotiate the conditions of service, okay? But that negotiation is depending on government's intention to scrap the book and research allowance. Mm. So it means that the scrapping of the book and research allowance depends on we arriving at a conclusion. I mean, we should agree mm -hmm. on our conditions of service. After which, of course, if government decides to set up a I mean, national research fund, we have no qualms about that. OK, so you, for you, what you're fighting for now is because you have not agreed on anything yet. For now, you, we have Government still owes you that book and research allowance. Exactly. For until there is a new agreement and all of you agree on it. Exactly. For now, we have not agreed on anything. So to POTAC, we know that we are entitled to the book and research allowance. Why? Because we have worked 2014, 2015, we have about five weeks to end the semester, and we have not seen anything. There are no signs. We've not been told anything. So we are letting government 
Mm. So how many months in arrears are we talking about here? No, the book and research allowance is cover, covers uh, two semesters, the whole okay. year, you know, the mm. academic year, right? And we normally receive it in the second semester, okay? But at least we, should, we, we, should, we, we have to be seeing some signs, you no, know? What, what kind but of signs? Of course, the auditors receiving? will come around, okay, do some auditing work, write paperwork here and there, but we are not seeing anything. Around this time? Exactly. Okay. Is Fair Wages the only, you know, office that you can call on? You know, um, we wrote to the uh, Minister of Education. Thankfully, he ha she has responded. And she's also directing that we go back to Fair Wages. Of course, the MOU says that uh, Fair Wages should engage POTAC. Okay. Mm. But what, what, did, what did you tell the, minist the Minister of Education? Yeah, we informed the Minister that um, as of now, Fair Wages is not interested in engaging POTAC to negotiate for our conditions of service. And she said you should go back to Fair that Wages, the same office that is not exactly. interested in. Exactly. You know, last year, um, Har uh, Honorable Harun Adusu did a fantastic job, okay, by, you know, engaging POTAC when we called out the strike, okay. And that one depends on this review of the conditions of service. We are much particular about the review of our conditions of service. My sister, since 2006, we've been using the same old conditions of service, and things have changed. Somebody would say that you're fortunate. The doctors don't even have anything. At least there's something that you're working, you're working with. What, what do you want changed in that conditions of service? Um, I wouldn't like to go into the nitty-gritty of what's we want to see reviewed in the conditions of service. But we are saying that if book and research allowance, okay, is part of our conditions of service, mm -hmm. and government is saying that they want to scrap it and replace it with national research fund, then they, of they course, should review the whole conditions exactly, of service. Exactly. The whole conditions of service should be reviewed. That is a simple message. That is a simple message that we have for government. So can I conclude this way? Yes. You are coming up with this demand yes. to review your conditions of service because government wants to change one condition in that. Exactly. But otherwise, you don't have a problem with your conditions of service. Already, we've been crying for a review of our conditions of service because, my sister, if you go through the conditions of service, you will even laugh. Okay? You have the old Ghana CDV used in quoting figures. 300,000, 400,000, and things have changed. Those days we used to buy a gallon of f petrol, maybe 15 CDs. Now, I'm sorry, uh, around uh, uh, five CDs, four CDs. Today, how much is a gallon of petrol going for? So things have changed. So I don't think that it is put that who has to come out and say that we want our conditions of service reviewed. You know, automatically, we have to review it. Well, who's responsible for that? Of course, here yeah, we've been directed to go to Fair Wages and Salaries uh, Commission. Is this a POTAC fight alone? Because I remember the Book and Research Allowance, UTAC was also involved. I'm just thinking that if the, the various associations came together, you make a stronger case than only POTAC. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how UTAC's um, demand was, how it was resolved. But we have an independent body that is POTAC, mm. and we are fighting for POTAC. So are you given any kind of ultimatum? We know that you're quick on striking. Are you doing anything of I'm that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll not take that. We are not quick in striking. We are well, level-headed people. A, a lot of you let, have let said that explain. that's the only language that, you know, government seem to understand. Let me explain. Potag is not quick in striking. Before Potag would come out to say that we are on strike, it means that we have exhausted every legal means every legal procedure has been followed and look at what is happening since january tw uh, 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 2015 we have written letters upon letters just for fair wages to engage us to negotiate our conditions of service and what are we seeing nobody is responding so it is not that potak is always in to strike no that is not the objective of potak okay we love our students. They are, I mean, junior brothers and sisters. No, but no POTAC member will be happy seeing students sitting at home because we are on strike. No. We are level-headed people. Mm -hmm. And that is our profession. But of course, where you have a legitimate demand and somebody, I mean, 
whoever is supposed to respond is not responding. It's disheartening, my sister. So not that Putak is ready to strike. Mm -hmm. That is why we stated in our um, press conference that we wouldn't like what happened last year to happen this year. And that is our prayer. And so, I, I believe that we'll not get there. So let's talk briefly about uh, last year's strike. You went on uh, a longer strike. What did the school lose, the schools, the polytechnic institutions? What did you lose yourselves as teachers in the classroom? Of course, you see, Potak was compelled, okay, to embark on that unfortunate um, action. We as lecturers, the days that we should have rested, you know, vacation, mm. we had to shorten it. So not that we were happy. Because the calendar know, did the not calendar change. Did the calendar change? Not significantly, okay. you know, slightly. You know, if you had to um, go on vacation for about six weeks, definitely we're giving about a week or two. Mm. And we're also affected, okay? Because we have to mark, we have to submit our results, we have to survive project work. You know, and it is, it is something that affected us as members, okay? So we weren't happy with whatever happened. Mm. But of course, my sister, we are pushed to the wall, OK? And, and I see that from the way you're talking, you're being pushed to the wall yes, again. Yeah. Is, that, is that the case? In fact, that is what is happening. So are we going to see any action? We like don't want to get there. So, we, we don't so want how to do you in turn resolve So this? here we are calling on Fair Wages and Salaries uh, Commission. How are you doing it? Because you, you've written, you have written you, you've communicated directly with that office. Severally. And nobody has minded you. No. So why do you think this that is why new calls you're making now? That is why we want to we want to erase that perception, okay, in the public domain that Putak are in for only strikes. Are you preparing us for an action? We are and not if preparing, I say you, are, are you preparing, preparing are you preparing Ghanaians? Because now you seem to be telling us your story. Yes. Oh, we've been trying to get their, their ears, but they haven't been minding us. We've written several letters, no response. So uh, we, we have to go on a certain action that will compel them mm. to listen to us. We are not preparing the minds of Ghanaians to um, think of we going on strike. We just want the truth to be made, I mean, to do, to, we want to, we want Ghanaians to know the truth, mm. okay, that we don't just get up one day and say we are going on strike. My sister, since January, okay, we are in our fifth month, all right, I mean, getting to the fifth month, and nothing is happening. So we are saying that, listen to us, and that we have a legitimate concern, but the authority that is supposed to address it is not doing it. Okay, so not that we are preparing the minds of Ghanaians that Putak is going to embark on any strike action. That is why we are saying that what happened last year, we don't want a repeat of the, 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 it this year. That is all that we are saying. Mm. So those who have been mandated to see to read that our conditions of service are reviewed, we are just calling on them mm. to invite Putak. We are ever ready. To negotiate. You know the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission don't particularly get excited when you come to the media, you know, like you've been doing these couple of days. They want you to go to the National Labor Commission instead. I'm sure you know about that. Yes, but so far we, I don't think um, there has been any stillmate or whatever. There has not been any uh, uh, deadlock, nothing, okay? We were directed to go to Fair Wages for negotiations. Right. Now, we've been there twice. The negotiation has not even started. Okay. And call us back to the negotiating table. That one, too, is not being done. So I believe that with this, I mean, it, it is rather unfortunate that we have to come to the media. But I believe that we are not um, um, giving details of whatever we are going to discuss there. No, that is not what we are saying. What we are saying now is that we have a concern and it is not being addressed. Mm. And what is our concern? Our concern is simple. Government says that it's going to scrap book and research allowances, okay? But that would depend on 
our conditions of service being reviewed. Mm. So if you have not reviewed the conditions of service, and you are saying that you have scrapped book and research allowance, then in a way you have not been, I mean, you have not shown any utmost good faith to us. But the scrapping of the book and research allowance is not new, is it? I mean, it didn't happen in 2015. The, the talk started a bit back, but I thought, so what is implemented now? W what is on the ground? So far, nothing has been implemented. We have not had any implementation of uh, uh, new book and research, nothing. All that we were told was that government intends setting up a national research fund. And but that were you told when? Um, I think that was last year. OK. In fact, we've been hearing, we'll be scrapping it, we'll be scrapping it. But you know, we, we just took it as a rumor until last year when we were expecting in, uh, book and research allowance to be paid and it was not coming. Then, so you know, uh, we, we intend scrapping it. But mm. of course, it is, it is part of our conditions of service. And it was not just a unilateral decision, okay, for government to come out with our conditions of service. But we had a representative, okay. It means that for you to scrap it, you cannot also scrap it unilaterally. I get my point. Mm -hmm. At least engage Putak for us to agree. Okay. All right. So I, I remember one thing I said when you when you informed us that you had called off that strike action the last yes. time. Yes. I said, okay, there they go again. I hope that whatever had been promised they know that it will be delivered. That's why they are calling off. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I have noticed is that you call off when really what you've been promised is not given you. So why don't you really, no matter how difficult it may be, why don't you stand on your grounds and say, until you give me this, once it is fair, if you don't give me, I'm not backing off. Because then it seems, we are, it seems that we are running around in circles. We've come back to the same point where we were sometime last year. Yes, um, my sister, um, we gave a human face to our demand, OK? Um, looking at the plight that our students were going through last year, when the MOU was signed, and of course, if you sign an MOU, it means a lot, OK? The MOU was signed. 2013-2014 academic year research, book and, uh, research and book allowances were paid. Mm -hmm. And the MOU says that we should go to Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, negotiate on our conditions of service, taking into consideration government's intention to set up research fund. You, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So here, if you sign such an MOU, why will you still say that you are not ready to go back to the classroom? So we went back to the classroom, believing that definitely Fair Wages and Salaries Commission will engage us thoroughly, conclude it without any problem. But here again, we are being frustrated. For how long can you take in this frustration? That is why I want it to be settled once and for all. Once we go through a proper review of our conditions of service, I tell you, Potak, we forever will have our peace. Are you mindful, though, that these, are, these times that we find ourselves in as a country, these are really critical times. Economy is not doing particularly well. Things are tight. If you're asking for more money, if you're asking, because I know that usually when there's a review, even though you, you will not give me details, Whatever you have now would, would go up. Yes. Have you, are you mindful that these are not very good times? Very, very, very mindful. You know, um, Potag wouldn't do anything to thwart the effort of government to develop this nation. We know that the economy is not doing so well, right? But then, what is due us? I mean, I don't think that any official will say that because the economy is not doing well, he or she is not prepared to take his salary at the end of the month. Yeah, but we know that most public uh, private organizations uh, have said that there is a freeze on any increments or any reviews. Yeah. So don't come to me with anything because uh, you're even fortunate to get a job in the first place. Yes.
You see, my sister, what is happening is that something that I was receiving, you have decided to take it off. Okay? And it is part of my conditions of service. So if you are taking it off, what are you doing so that you wouldn't make me worse off? You understand? Because if it is taken off and our conditions of service is not revealed, then we are being made worse off in the midst of harsh economic conditions. Can we briefly talk about the two allowances? Yes. They're they all allowances. Yeah, exactly. Okay, what's the difference? You know, we have the uh, research allowance and then we have the book. Mm -hmm. Okay, of course, the research is supposed to help with the lecturers engage in more research to enrich our delivery okay and of course you also have to get books to teach okay and um, combining the two is what gives us a book, the book and, research. and research okay okay now we have no problem if government says that they want to set up research, national research fund it is good okay but that shouldn't be at the expense of our conditions service that is what we are saying okay let me just because we're fortunate right now to get uh, mr. Cornelius Yorsing who is with the fair wages and salary Commission uh, salaries Commission joining us on the phone uh, I want to say good morning and thank you for your time sir hello mr. Yorsin yeah, hello. good morning thank you for your time mr. Yorsin yeah. okay so first of all why is the fair wages and salaries Commission uh, not ready to meet POTAC. They, ma they make us understand that they've written uh, several letters to you, but they haven't heard anything. When you go out to public debate, that will be factual. That will be factual. You have to say, people have put up several times over this matter. We find rules of engagement, etc., on this matter. And we are still on it. But as I'm speaking today, we are still you tax on the same matter. We are meeting you tag on the same matter. So to say that we are not meeting them, they've written several letters. I have not seen those letters that they are talking about. I'm not sure they have said that. Because we've met them, uh, we've set up a date for uh, further meeting, exercise. we've set up an agenda for further meeting on the matter. I'm not sure they've said that they've written several letters. Well, Mr. Yossin, these are not my words. Uh, these are the words of the vice chairman of the Accra Polytechnic branch, yes, who yes, I am having yes, a conversation with right I now. I can tell you on authority that it's on So what is the plan then? When are you meeting them? You see, we are meeting you tax the as I said. On the same, as I know, it's the same issue for both POTAC and for new tax. And uh, when we last met, there were areas on which we were... Uh, not agreed on the issue. But we have to seek further directions, etc., before we come back and meet them. And indeed, after you, uh, you tax, we are meeting for tax. I can't tell you a specific date per se. We are meeting for tax. So, is, is your conversation with them going to be on a review of the, their entire conditions of service or? your concentration will be on the book and research allowance that is to be scrapped. <laughs> you see, this is the funny aspect of it. We met POTAC. We met POTAC and we agreed on the uh, issues. We are talking about category uh, 2 and 3 allowance, harmonization and um, uh, uh, standardization of category 2 and 3 allowance. A lot of the items in their positions of service also border on the category Two and three, which are being discussed at the Public Services Joint Standing Negotiating Committee. And so the book and research became the only item that was there. Indeed, they, they themselves put a signed a memorandum of understanding in which uh, the conditions of service, uh, sorry, the book and research allowance, were to be negotiated out of the conditions of service. So, in principle, we are uh, more or less met on the book and but we look at the whole condition of service in tandem, but then every item, or most of the items that we came to, belong to category 2 and 3, which has to be negotiated under the Public Services Joint Standing Negotiating Committee, therefore rendering redundant or uh, to those items that we have to discuss with them, remaining only the book and research which we have to discuss with them.
Okay. So it's it's not as if uh, you don't want to meet Potak, but it's only because per your schedule, it's not time yet to meet them. No, yes, yes, that, they, 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 are, they are aware. They are aware that uh, you will meet them. They are aware about that. You see, let me tell you something. Uh, we signed a rules of engagement. We all signed it, and in those rules of engagement, we have said that if you the other party feel that the other party is not coming. You can approach them for the meeting to come on. And indeed, if you have an event, don't go to the press or the media. You go to the National Labor Commission. When your, uh, when your, uh, your, 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 your the program guy called me at first, I told him I won't talk. Because the rules are clear. You sign the rules and say that if you have an event, you are not going to the media. You are going to the National Labor Commission. So why is protest now in the media? What are they to do with the media? Will the issue be resolved in the media or to be resolved on the table? Well, I, I, mm -hmm. I asked that question, Mr. Yossing, and the response was that it's not as if there's a stalemate because the discussions are not underway yet. This is just a call for the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission to meet us, and they are not it responding is, to that call. It is very untrue to say that the discussions are not underway yet. As I've already told you, we have met and considered every item in the conditions of service and have come to the conclusion that they belong we have gone through and say allowances which have to be negotiated under the public services joint standing negotiating committee. Put that is aware, or you be aware that this matter has been, you have defined all the allowances under the public services joint standing committee, and the Minister of Finance is only looking at the implication so that coming June or by June would have finished negotiating on that one. Mm -hmm. that must be aware of that because at the last year, JSC, that was what we signed. We signed a communicate at the public committee, in which we said that the positions on the Catholic birthday should begin or end by June 2015. So it is very much untrue to say that uh, negotiations have not started at all. It's very, very untrue. I'm sorry to say, use those words. It's very untrue because we have met at least three times. We have met to sign rules of engagement. We have considered every item in the matter. And what was remaining was the book research. And for that, you should not use this as a strategy to go out into the public domain. But when we, the time comes and we call them, or if they call a meeting, then we can sit and consider it and negotiate it out of the conditions of service as the memorandum of understanding the they themselves sign says or to put it. Mm. Uh, Mr. Yossin, just before you go, I just want you to clear this for me. Has there been a meeting this year, 2015, with POTAG? Yes, there's, there's been. I, I'm not in the office, I've, I've signed the record, but they have been, and as I'm speaking to you, I'm saying that today, at 10 a.m., we are meeting you tax on the same matter. You see, what I can't uh, compare, uh, and it, it's actually uh, also okay, you have to be equitable in what you do. So we tried to meet you tax and put tax so as to create common understanding, both ways, so that the, 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 uh, we don't come to a point where one, uh, one of them has been cheated out of the issue. So we need alternatively to resolve the issue as far as the book and research allowance is concerned. All right. Mr. Cornelius Yossin, I'm grateful for your time this morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, so uh, I am back with you, Daniel Osabute. Yeah, my sister. You heard him. For Mr. Yossin, you say that we are already negotiating is factually incorrect because I did indicate that we only came up with the rules of engagement, right? Rules of engagement doesn't mean we have negotiated on anything. And as he said, the last meeting was in January 28th. So if we have written letters reminding uh, uh, Fair Wages and Salaries Commission... Which is he's denying, really. I'm sorry to say he should check his records. He should go back and go through his file. Is it if he hasn't received it, it doesn't mean that we have not written to uh, fair wages. Is it refreshing, though, that they're meeting UTAC? I mean, they have a 10 a.m. meeting with UTAC, for instance, today. You see, if we have written to you to meet us and you have not responded, then, of course, it is subject to so many interpretations. But if they had responded, we'll be meeting you in April, we'll be meeting you in March, then, of course, we know that we are supposed to meet fair wages in March or in April. But if you keep us in suspense, then of course, suspicion will begin to mount. 
That is what is happening. Mm. But we are ready. In fact, we, we, are, we are more than ready <laughs> to beat fair wages. Mm. We are more than ready. So with what you know now, you know, from what uh, Cornelius Yosin shared with us, yes. what is the way forward? I mean, what's your next move? Our next move, as Mr. Cornelius said, is to meet fair wages. Once they invite us, we'll be there. All and right. we want to meet them. In fact, let me say that we are not striking units or striking association. That is not the aim of POTAC. Not at all. So essentially you are assuring us that you are not going to go on strike. That is why we are saying matter. that we don't want it to happen. You see? But it could happen. It may we, happen. We, we wouldn't get there. I don't think we'll get there. Okay. Well, we that's, are very optimistic. That's reassuring enough. Very, very optimistic. We'll not get there. Okay. I, With the assurance that you've had from uh, Mr. Yosin, I know we'll not get there. All right. We, we can only wish you well, really. Thank you very much. In your negotiations. Thank you very much. All right. May you strike the best of deals. <laughs> oh, so thank we, can, you. we don't come to this point again. <laughs> thank you, my sister. All right. That's been my banner. Now you know what you know. Stay on. We've got talk coming up right next here, still on the AM show.